Alrighty, another exciting day in the garden. Today we're gonna clean up the coleuses. I sort of feel bad because I'm still getting pollinators on them. Anyhow, they're getting a little ratty looking. So let's clean them up a bit. And of course, we're to save some seeds. Let's get some seeds. Okay, now we're gonna work on the front pond. You know what, I got out of here. You know what, I got out of here a little late. I'm not working in direct sun. I'll wait till that uh, sun goes down a bit. Meanwhile, I'll work in the back. All right, let's uh, try to clean up this side a little bit. A little too hot to work out front. So I'm gonna harvest the butternut squash here. And uh, it sucks because some are still greenish. Man, I don't know what to do. I mean, I got a vine that comes over here. And there's a bunch on there. I'm just gonna try to clean it up best I can. Pick what's ripe and pick what's ready to go. Okay, I gotta watch this vine. I gotta follow this vine, see where that goes, and not cut that off. See, that's perfect. That I would like these to go longer, but I'm not waiting. Oh, poke weed all goes in the fire pit. Okay, let's go on the top. Looks like that might have healed. Maybe I'll let that go. Okay. Let's see what we got here. That's okay. Okay, let's get this big guy.
this I definitely would want to go longer. These are perfect. These two I would have let go a little bit longer. I have a couple more up there. I, if I could follow the line, I could rip out everything else. All right, we'll see if we can follow that line and save that one and tear out the rest. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the vine. That's all the way up here, there. I hope that's it. We'll see if the leaves start to wilt. retire this dado plant and then we'll mulch up to that log I still don't know what to do with the tomato plant I love to get tomatoes up until October yeah this plant is doing so good oh well Probably got a lot of fertilizer because I don't fertilize in here but I do fertilize the pots so it could have got a lot of runoff when it rained that would account for the real yellowing jalapenos and and these kick-ass dadles look at this thing man it's freaking loaded like I said in my other video I got to get the yard cleaned up for the party probably everything's got to come out I'll probably leave the butternut squash and maybe a tomato plant the weekend before. I gotta have it done by Saturday, so maybe I'll do that. No, I have to I have to do it this week. What am I saying? Don't listen to me. Alright, let's get this taken care of. Lord, Jesus. Look at this thing. Wow. These are the beds that um, I do with my in-situ composting. You've seen in videos before, I just dump everything in there. I don't waste anything if I can't help it. Like I said, everything goes in these beds. I built these beds, I guess, I don't know, seven years ago or something, and they're filled with logs. And then I, um, what I did was put heavy wood in the bottom, lighter stuff on top, and then I used like a 25% of my clay soil. Don't let anybody tell you the clay soil ain't good. The clay soil is great. You just need to amend it. It's loaded with uh, minerals. You just need to work it so the plant roots don't have a hell of a time getting in there. If you ever do a Hugo culture bed or a raised bed and you want to fill it, dig out some of your own soil and then top it with, with that and some amendments. I think this year we're going to try burying an entire turkey carcass raw. Give that until next spring, we'll see what it looks like. I think that'll be fun. The shame, there were a ton of peppers on here. If I could have waited a few more weeks, I'd have a nice Nice batch of dadles.
All right, so let's finish around the pond, the back pond. All right, I gotta fix this lighting too. The lighting's not working. I got some parts coming in to do the landscape lighting too. Mm, smell that oregano down there. All right, I'm gonna dump a little potting soil in there too. Try to build the soil a little bit nicer there. I never really planted anything there that I was too worried about. So it was just like, eh, it's a spot that's filled in. So I laid some cardboard down. I'm gonna lay down some more material and then cover it with some potting mix and then top it off with some mulch. That'll drop over time. Yeah, there's some uh, sweet potato leaves. I don't know if they did anything. Look, look. <laughs> That's a sweet potato. They're not going to do anything. All right, we're getting there, folks. I think this is going to come out later on today. The and then uh, when the sun gets a little lower, I'll do the, the pond out front. I may have to retire the pond permanently. Um, it's got a leak and I can't find it. It's leaking right through the wall. So I may cut out the liner and uh, fill it with some uh, logs. Have some, like three tons of fill drop in there. And, and plan something. I, I don't know what else to do. It's getting to be too much. It's just, if the stuff doesn't break, it's fine. But I mean, when it, you know, it's it's fun. But when it gets to the point where it's just so much work, when things break, and I guess it's time to start uh, thinning out some stuff. Back pond looks okay. Of course, I'll have to rip out like 90% of that. Effing squirrels, they they destroy everything. They, they like ate my deer head down there somewhere. They just destroy everything. I didn't get one grape early in the season. Something found out that they're good. I didn't get one honeyberry. I didn't get one hardy kiwi. Zero apples, zero, zero figs. And the hardy kiwi's done for the season. And you got you got to pick them at the right time or they're no good. You eat them like grapes. They're really good when you can get a hold of them. Okay, I think I'm going to go in and take a break. I have myself a nice coffee. Okay, let's lock out the pond before it gets too hot.
row bags inside the pots worked that good this year. Pond plants did well this year. It's had dado, poblano, jalapeno, serrano, eggplant. Look at that eggplant from the pond. That's beautiful. And all the, also, although the poblanos didn't get big, got some nice little poblanos. I'd like to smoke these. I could probably get some dadles from that one plant and add them to my hot sauce that I'm working on. Let's take care of this. Oops, they didn't mean to pull that all the way out. Get these two yummy peppers. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, chop and drop everything in there. I'm going to save the basil and the zinnias. Dadles for the hot sauce. All right, Serranos.
Okay, let's try to knock out the stuff up on the hill today. Peppers didn't do too good on the, on the hill this year. I don't know why. They got like this. Like, it's sort of getting wrinkly. It's not good. Pomolanos. All right, let's go up on the hill. Okay, well now we gotta knock out this guy. This is gonna be a mess. There's so many tomatoes on here. Oh boy, the sun's coming out already. I gotta get moving quick. It's coming up over the house already. It'll be 105 degrees here soon. Just stay cloudy just about an hour, please. I think I'm going to take out that last butternut squash. <coughs> All right, do another one. At least I'm getting some more tomatoes. A lot of people say, "Yo, you, you know, you really shouldn't, you shouldn't really compost these when they get this uh, fungus or whatever, blight or whatever." Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I mean, all these got real bad blight, and I didn't add any compost to the soil this year. I just covered it up, and they still got it. I don't know if I call bullshit on it, but. Well, it gets composted. This has got me worried. I don't want them in the compost bin. Okay, let's clean up this little bit of section and then we'll be one to this.
Okay. Heavy. Guy, well, what did you fix that? <laughs> my sweet potatoes. I'll, uh, I'll leave them in there until after the party. Hoping to find more that just start blushing like that, then I'd have nice tomatoes in about a week, ten days. Yep, I took them off. All right, uh, I'm probably gonna let a lot of this dry up. Hey, I'm gonna rake all this onto the patio, let it dry out for a week, and um, I'm gonna burn a lot of it. There was a lot of that morning glory in it dried up and went to seed. I know I'm going to have a ton in the compost bin. I, I can't help it. Uh, it was so embedded in the tomato plants. So I'll rake all this over here and then um, tidy up a little bit more. But it's about 90 degrees already. Sun's already up. Beating the shit out of me. Should have got up earlier, but just been tired. You know what? I think I'm going to actually burn it now. I do recycle a lot of that. I'll use some of that ash in there. The way I can burn everything's in there and throw another batch of this in there and let it dry out in the fire pit so it's not all over the yard. All right, folks, time for a well-deserved iced coffee, a Starbucks mocha double shot. That's my breakfast. Cheers. All right, let's have a little chat. I do a garden every year. A lot of this food goes to neighbors, friends, family, co-workers. I eat maybe 10% of it. 90% goes to 
I give it away. Every year, or actually a couple times a year, I will do a burn. I compost 90% of my stuff. Every once in a while, we'll do a burn, usually at the end of the season, burn stuff that has like um, a lot of weed seeds and stuff in. And I recycle that. I would take them ashes out, put them in the garden. Nothing goes to waste. You see, the, this fire pit is actually set up to cook. I do I have a rotisserie on it. I do, I, I have a tripod set up that I cook on. I have a grill grate that I cook on. No, I don't burn trash. The cardboard all has the tape ripped off best I can. The, the labels are torn off. I try not to burn anything as coated. And because it goes into my food, it goes into my garden. I recycle all my cardboard. 90% of my cardboard I recycle. Some of, I put a little bit out in the recycle bin, but most of the time I'll shred pizza boxes for a mulch. I'll lay them in the garden at the end of the year, cover them with mulch. I burn a little bit here and there when I'm doing um, my end of year cleanup. The ashes get composted. When I'm having a wood fire, if I put it out before I go to bed, if there's some biochar left in there, I dig that out. That goes in the garden. For those of you who follow me, you see everything I put in the garden. I'm proud to be able to give some fresh produce to friends and family and co-workers and neighbors. And yeah, I don't have pretty flowers. New York can look a little messy sometimes but it's sustainable and growing food. It makes me happy. It makes me feel productive. Sorry for rambling. Well, I can't get rid of it all. Monday or Tuesday when that, um, when all that is cool, I'll dig some of that out and put it in all the beds. Houston, looks like we got a problem. Looks like I'm gonna have to uh, order some raised beds for next season and do these two, get them out of there. There's Barry.